Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back. In this video we're going to be talking about namespaces. Now I am back in this collections.cpp file. It's a file we used a while ago. If you don't have it still, it's fine. All it is is we create an array and then we call this function to print the array. So what this video is going to cover is how to use a namespace and then how to do it across multiple files, which we talked a little bit about multi-file compilation a few videos ago and make files. So we're going to go back in that project and add a namespace there. But first, you know what? You've got to check out our sponsor, Embarcadero Rad Studio. Rad Studio is the IDE of choice for C++ development. Quickly build native, mobile, and desktop applications from a single C++ code base and deploy to Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. With Rad Studio, user interface design has been made easy with hundreds of pre-built components for cross-platform development. You can easily integrate with popular source control management systems, databases, APIs, and you can make your life easier with numerous third-party extensions. Let Rad Studio do the heavy lifting when it comes to C++ development. Give it a go with a free trial by following the link in the description. All right, so creating a namespace is super easy. Literally, all you gotta do is say namespace, give it a name, we could just call it something stupid like utils, basically for a bunch of utility functions, and then you're going to take all your code and put it inside of that uh, namespace. And you wanna make sure your indenting is correct. There you go. And now, when you want to use this function, all you have to do is prefix it with utils, like so. Now, to compile, first we gotta get to the right folder, so we need to change directory. and then compile. And you can see we can still output, it seems to work just fine. If you don't wanna prefix this stuff with the namespace, you can just go up here and say using namespace utils, and then you should be able to remove this prefix. And this using is actually going to need to come after the, the, the namespace definition. So this will come before main, but it will come after this namespace definition. All right, now let's try compiling and seeing if it works. Indeed it does, and we can output our code. Now we talked about whether doing this was a good idea many videos ago. Generally, I prefer not to because it kind of defeats the purpose of namespaces. The purpose of a namespace is to organize your code and reduce the likelihood of naming conflicts. So by using the using keyword here, you are essentially increasing your risk of naming conflicts because multiple namespaces might have a print array function. So in general, I prefer not to do that. And I would prefer to prefix like so. Now, when it comes to doing this across multiple files, let's move over to our project we were working on earlier. This is basically a program that has a bunch of math utility functions, and we're going to put these within a namespace. So let's get rid of collections.cpp and let's change directory to the appropriate location. like so. Now you're going to need to put the namespace in two locations, in the header file and the implementation file. So we have mathutils.cpp, which is the implementation, and then mathutils.header. So the namespace, I'm gonna put it around all of these functions, but I'm not going to put it around this struct. So I'm just going to say namespace utils, and then cut all of this stuff and put it inside of that utility namespace, right there. Then I'm going to do the same thing inside of the implementation file. So at the very top, I'm just going to say namespace utils, and I'm going to cut all of this stuff here and paste it inside of the namespace. And you may want to indent right there. All right, now in the usage file, math stuff cpp, we can see how to use this namespace. So here we have this power function call. We just have to prefix it with utils. Same for power utils and if we want to create a rectangle it's not in that namespace so we can just keep it simple like this here we're creating a rectangle and giving it some sizes and then when we want to calculate the area of the rectangle all we have to do is prefix these with utils there you go now we can just say make oh i have to get rid of this second half of the comment there now let's try this again make it made the output file math, and all we have to do is say dot forward slash math to run it. And you can see we still get output like we expected. 
So that is how you work with namespaces. The main purpose is to separate a section of code from the rest of the world. This is very common when you are working with some kind of utility library, some function library, and so forth. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, concerns, life goals, or favorite snack foods, leave them in the comments section below. And please be sure to subscribe and check out the next video because we're gonna start talking about function templates, which is a very cool way to basically beef out our functions, make them more useful for various data types without having to make a bunch of overloads. So it's really cool, check out that video and I'll see you then.